friends, this is Kitty the Messy Soaper at Royal Appleberry, and I am so glad to be back to soaping. I have not made soap, which is very odd for me. I have not made soap in, uh, since Easter. <laughs> so, um, the, be the reason for it, because I was really sick for like two weeks, and then uh, life just keeps happening and not anything bad. It's actually been something really really good for me And I know a lot of you are like, you know, you haven't some of you've been really concerned and you know text me Or email me and say, you know, are you okay? Because we haven't heard from you. You haven't been responding You know because I'm normally on top of responding to you guys comments, which you know, I love that love it most definitely but life has just been so super duper crazy right now that I try to set aside a day to uh, respond to all you guys comments so that's the reason being not that you know I've like fallen off a cliff or something or <laughs> or I'm ignoring you all because I would never ever do that because I love you all to shreds you know that so I'm like today I got up super early I had a long day yesterday and then like the past week or so my days have been like 16 to 18 hours I'm just like are you kidding but hey you know that's part of life especially when it's great things for you so um <clears throat> I'm like super excited and while I'm standing here stirring this I already put my light water in so um I'm excited because I'm finally starting to make my soaps with Rustic Essentials uh, products. So yay, Amy, I'm super excited. Um, today I'm going to be soaping with her favorite, which is Salty Sea Air. And I'm going to name this one uh, Beach Vacation. The colors that I'm using, this beautiful white here, is uh, Arctic White Mica. Can you guys see that? Okay, and then I'm going to use, which is my favorite, Caribbean Kiss Mica, which is this one here. And then, um, Almost Ice Mica, which is this one here. These colors, I mean, they're just so beautiful. And I've actually, um, for another project or another soap that I have, I've actually used some of her micas and melted pour. And I'm telling you, they are so sparkly. Oh my goodness, beautiful. The shimmer that you get, I mean, like just a fine pieces of glitter and shimmer in your melt and pour, beautiful. So for those of you who do melt and pour, I suggest you go out and order some of her um, micas. And if you live in South Carolina, okay, so so jealous <laughs> because she's located in South Carolina so just take your hiney right on over there and just buy it so lucky you all right guys um so like I said I already have my lion here and <laughs> because I'm telling you when I take off from soaping I just go soap dumb <laughs> because I'm just like wait a minute I thought I had everything I made sure I had everything and normally I milk I mix in my milks and clays before I put my lye water in <laughs> not this time <laughs> so I um yeah but it turned out fine so no problem there now what I want to do is Sherry told me in advance that this this uh fragrance oil is a fast mover and I don't know why I'm just like really excited to see what I can do with it because I know a lot of times it's based on um <clears throat> it's based on your recipe as well so I'm going to take a second to pour just a little bit to the side to see what kind of time that I have and I will let you guys know okay so I'll be right okay, back guys so <clears throat> I set some to the side test a little bit to see how it will perform and it is a fast mover but it's not um, you know soap on a stick it does thicken up a little bit but you know what you can stick blend that out and if you want to soap uh, with texture then this is perfect for that because I'll show you right here I haven't even stirred um, my white here and you have like these little lumps here, but they do stick blend out. So I'm okay with this. And at least you do know in advance that they are fast movers. And she does put this information right on her website before you purchase it. So, but in my opinion, um, it's worth it because it smells amazing. <laughs> I told you guys, it smelled to me. It reminds me of uh, South Carolina's air. It's just like this clean clean salty smell and oh guys before I forget which I know I won't but these colors you know how like you guys seen me before um <clears throat> like uh mix my colorants with my oils and it'll turn it a different color from what I was expecting not with these most definitely not I can tell you that's that guys 
I can tell you most definitely that they are true to color from what it was in the jar in dry form to wet form. I don't care if you're working with uh, more yellow or soap uh, oils. <clears throat> most definitely keeps its color. So I'm pleased with that. And as you guys can see, like I said, this is not uh, to the point you just can't work with it. Yeah, it does move fast, but if you are not planning to do, I would say this is not for intricate designs, but it's not soap on a stick. So I'm okay with that. Like I said, those lumps, <clears throat> they stick blend right out. So this uh, texture actually works for me, most definitely work for me. And I've done something really stupid. <laughs> I uh, did mix my white, yeah, so, um, and I've already dirtied up my stick blender, so <laughs> I'll be right back when okay, I clean guys, that I'm up. back. Um, Amy, uh, the owner of Rustic Essentials, did tell me don't plan to make anything very intricate, and as you guys know, <laughs> I haven't hit like a brick, but like I said, I'm still very pleased with this. Yes, it is thicker. Yes, it does uh, move fast, but... I mean, if this is the worst you get right here, then hey, you can't complain, especially for the way it smells. So, <clears throat> I'm going to set that one off to the side. And why do I have two of the same colors almost? I actually wanted to um, put like some, some type of exfoliant in this bottom here that I'm going to slap in this mold in a second. But, all I had was strawberry seeds and I think raspberry seeds and it really wasn't going to work out for me, so... I didn't do that all right so put a little bit more and yes I am still doing <laughs> a very um, well not very like just super super you know intricate nothing like that but I had an idea of what I wanted this to look like and as you guys know I'm a very slow soaper so if for those of you who move fast then you're okay it's just me I'm like really super slow so Let's get this in the mold, spread it around, and I'm going to give it a tap down. <clears throat> yeah, because I, I kind of have like this ocean theme or um, I'm going to break my glass. <laughs> give me a second. All right. Yeah, I kind of have like this... Um, ocean or seashore thing going on here and so I kind of have a couple ideas of the way I want it to look so yes I'm going to take some of this color I'm gonna give that a stir I love these colors I mean geez because my soap um my soap batter is more on the yellow side my oils that I use they're more on the yellow side so for me to be able to put these colors in here and they still turn out the same color that is in the actual container see that so cool love that so i'm going to go ahead and give this a uh, somewhat of an in the pots world you guys know me in my in the pots worlds <laughs> all right <clears throat> some there, put some there, and put some here. You know what guys, my thoughts are on, you know that I do a lot of soaps that uh, don't, they're like tricky because I don't test and I don't read reviews. <laughs> so if it does accelerate and a lot of you ask me, how do you stay so calm? My thing is, it's fun it's all in fun so if it does speed up my thoughts are kind of like if you can manage to get it to look like something beautiful even though it accelerates or um, whatever the issues you may have um, to me they're not issues they are kind of a challenge to see what you can come up with and I think if you can manage to do that and still come out with a gorgeous soap or a soap that you're very pleased with then I think you can do anything after that that's just my thoughts you know and like I said you guys know I am very slow and I'm still working with this uh, battery it hasn't thickened up any more than from the beginning so it's still the same um, and it's working for me because like I said the textures are really going to work for me because I wanted it to be kind of textured I mean if it was really fluid would have I don't know I don't I think it may have been like 
a gradient type which I've never actually done you know a gradient but this actually the texture is going to work in my favor because I got some sand going on and the bottom is going to represent sand and this middle part here is where my sand and my water are going to combine so that's why I wanted that till color to be mixed in in sort of like a, in a pot swirl so it's going to work out the way I want it to like I said, it hasn't moved any faster. When you first, I mean, if you already know what to expect, take the challenge. Yeah, do that, guys. Um, if you have a fragrance oil that you know is a fast mover, take the challenge. Just test yourself to see what you can come up with because you would be surprised at what you can come up with. Really surprised because you guys see a lot of my soaps that I do um, as of lately they are fast movers and they come out really really cool looking i mean i've had a few of you refer to them as like van gogh and that is like <laughs> that's the hugest compliment ever so um i can't ask for better than that so yeah take a challenge if you have one that you're afraid to work with and i mean at the end of the day if it doesn't work out guess what <laughs> You just shred it up and put it in a crock pot and whip that bad baby. <laughs> so it can be saved. It's not the end of it. Just challenge yourself. Take yourself out of your comfort zone and try something new. Because the possibilities are endless when it comes to making soap. It really is. Uh, I need to save just a weensy bit of this because I want to mix this with a little bit of white and blue. So this does, oh, it just smells so good. It really does smell very, very good. Love the way this smells. So I'm going to move this around. Oh, and two, like I've had quite a few of you ask me, how do I mix my colorants? What do I use to mix my colorants with before I put my, um, my soap mix in? my soaping oils after lye I just pour off a little bit of my soaping oils you know just very little into it and mix it in with a um, little mini whisk or whatever because I see a lot of you actually just um, pour your dry powders in there your uh, colorant powders in there and then put your soap mix over your batter I can't that just doesn't really work out for me so I like to add a little bit of my soap oils and it doesn't matter because it's going to go right back in there so it's no big deal all right let me tap this down oh too I forgot to tell you guys that um these baskets I got four of them uh Central Depot was actually having to sell in their baskets for like ten dollars a piece <laughs> so um that's why you're going to see a lot of these baths my mom she was like so awesome she bought me some more silicone molds so super duper excited about that can I get that over in the corner push that down all right now so my next color is blue I think I'm supposed to, yeah, blue until I'm going to mix some of those together. So I'm going to give this a stir. All right. And I know I confuse a lot of you. <laughs> Because I've been so far, uh, so far behind with posting my videos, so they're like ancient. And when I got this, uh, all of my goodies from uh, Rustic Essentials, I went on and posted that haul video before I posted, um, before, oops, before I posted um, the rest of the videos. Because I was like so excited, so I just really, really want to get that in there to kind of let you guys know what was coming up. So that's why I did that. <laughs> Because a lot of people are like, wait, <laughs> uh, my last two videos that I posted, they're just like, wait a minute, um, I don't see her stuff you're using. <laughs> but I did let her know that um, I had a couple more videos to post because I was behind. So that's the reason for. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. So I'm going to go ahead and mix some white and some blue and some teal together.
I do I want some more blue in there? Okay, uh, maybe add a little bit more white. Or cream, or sand, sand color. <laughs> put a little bit more blue just for like a transition you want to have more of the next color and I don't know why I'm like on this kick of doing these like transition or I don't know what to call them like these dreamy swirly looking uh, colors and my soaps they just I don't know they're just speaking to me so I listen okay and thankfully, <laughs> the weather is starting to look like what it's supposed to look like for May and not still looking like winter in May because that is terrible. <laughs> so I'm like super ex uh, excited about that most definitely. Yay. Oh, too, um, I want to say hi to my buddy, Eric. Um, Eric, honey, I just, I think you are a very brilliant, brilliant individual. And we've been chatting back and forth through email. And I just, I guess I've been crazy busy, so I haven't been able to um, just chat like I wanted to with you all when you all ask me questions and things like that. But I promise, 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 I will make some time for all of you individually. Those who have contacted me with questions or things like that, I most definitely will because I love you all. And if it weren't for you, then guess what? I wouldn't be here doing this today. So, I did not forget about you, Eric. I did not, I promise. And I'm just like super excited to kind of talk to you because you are brilliant, man. <laughs> you really are. So I can't wait to be able to sit and chat with you about how awesome you are. And he's a soap maker, uh, getting into soap making. So that's pretty cool. I love it when guys are getting into soap making and things like that. I mean, how awesome is that? Super duper cool. All right. So I like this. I kind of, you know, what? I should have made, oh, darn it. I don't have any more. I should have made some of this for my top because I got the coolest uh, uh, embed that when she, Amy, told me that she was sending me this fragrance oil, I went and ordered some embeds. I mean, I keep saying some embeds. I didn't order the embeds. I ordered the mold for the embeds. And, um, I made some the coolest, cutest, 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 oh my god, they're so cute, uh, little embeds for like beach thing. So, and I just had this grand idea to do this, don't ask me why. Just because I think it needs it, that's why. Oh, yeah, and yesterday, because I'm, okay, so kind of give you guys an idea of what's been going on. I know I had talked to you all about uh, me leaving my job and doing this full time and I still plan to do that at some point in life but you know what God has a plan for you he already knows what's you know set aside for you to do so I've actually <laughs> I've actually gotten a job a new job I mean and it's so major that you you just couldn't pass it up you'd be a fool to pass it up so that's what I've been doing, you know, uh, transitioning. I haven't started yet, but, um, I'm in, the, you know, I'm in transition to get everything squared away and get over there and start working there. And I think that I'm going to be extremely happy and just this, this whole job, it, <laughs> without going into too much detail, there were a lot of other people that they thought were more qualified for this job and they were all men and um you know just i beat them all let's just say that <laughs> it was only one position open and out of 22 guys i beat them so i'm like super super proud of myself for that um because a lot of times in whatever you do no matter what field it is some it's just the way the world works there are still men out here that believe that men are better than women, <laughs> especially when it comes to the techie type of things. They just feel like it's a man's world. Uh, women don't belong. So uh, for me to beat out 22 men, I am very, very proud of myself and I land that position. And it wasn't because, you know, oh, you know, let's just give her a chance. No, it was because I earned it. So I'm very, very proud of that. 
extremely proud of that. So that's what I've been doing. And uh, one of my co-workers that I work with currently, she's, you know, I was pretty close to her. I, I'm pretty close to her. Uh, she was very sad. A lot of people are sad, and I'm very sad, too. I'm not going to say that I'm not going to miss them. I'm going to miss them all because I've been there for so, so long. But um, she wanted, she had told me about, <laughs> this is amazing, too. She had told me about this garage sale that was happening. And it was, I think it's like 45 minutes away from us. And the thing was 46 miles long. <laughs> So we did that yesterday. You know, I told her I'm going to try to hang out with her as much as I can before I go. Because when you start a new job, you just don't know, you know, until you get settled in the time schedule that you're going to have. And then the rest of my free time is most definitely de dedicated to soap making. So, um, uh, yeah, so we did that. And we got there about 10, got something to eat, got lost. <laughs> Well, we didn't get lost, let's just say that. The person who organized it didn't really give great information of exactly where the start of it was going to be. So we had to kind of just ride around, but we ended up going to a craft fair, which I love craft fairs. And it was kind of cool to see, you know, the other soapers. And honestly, they just did the one color natural. It was mostly lavender. It was only two soapers there. And all of their soaps were lavender scented or just natural with no scent at all. So I did not see any soaps that looked like this, you know, which... I got kind of excited about because I do plan to do some craft fails and I will be the one to bring all this excitement <laughs> so, <laughs> that was pretty cool and we were only supposed to stay uh, at this uh, 46 mile long garage sale for from 10 to 3 but I didn't get back until almost 7 <laughs> but I did she found more really, really cool stuff. I don't know. It's just I'm trying to get rid of things. So it's not like I was expecting to bring in like this huge amount of stuff. But I did get, I think it's Jack LaLanne, that juicer. You guys know how expensive that juicer is. And I've always wanted a juicer. So I got it for 30 bucks, brand new. <laughs> so I was like super excited about that. Super duper. Okay, so let me give this a bang down right quick. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, this one's going to be kind of tall, which is cool because I want some, I guess, some white caps or what have you on the top. So, oh, and for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. So excited to have you here. So glad you decided to stop by and check me out. Um, as you can see, as I am soaping, well, A, I'm a very slow soaper. B, as I am soaping, I talk about other things besides soap making while I'm making soap. So that's just how I do things. And I really do hope you enjoy it. And um, I am, I don't know, I'm always one trying to take, I just take chances and things like that. And it's just really, really cool, you know, just to see what the outcome is going to be. So... Um, I am actually, if you haven't watched that video, my Rustic Essential haul video, haul slash review video, I'm going to be doing testing for her fragrance oils and her uh, micas. So, uh, I mean, there's going to be tons and tons of videos that are coming up with her products and letting you guys know how they perform. And the co I mean, as you can see, these colors are totes amaze balls. <laughs> so super excited about that so yeah you'll be seeing me use a lot of her products their products rustic essentials products and um the performance in those and i am just so so honored that she decided to choose me little old me I'm, <laughs> i am so pleased i mean i've just been totally blessed i mean i honestly i have been really really blessed so thank you thank you thank you and thank you all for all of your constant support and love and encouraging words and you know sometimes people get ugly <laughs> on youtube channels and say horrible things or not necessarily I, I i honestly haven't had anybody say anything horrible to me but just not so mean or rude you know and thank you guys for just kind of rallying around me and giving me such encouraging words and love and you know, I love you all. I love you all so much. And I miss you all so much because, like I said, I haven't made soap in forever. So I'm surprised I have 
remember how to do this because <laughs> i seem to take a week or so off i forget i totally forget how to make soap why i don't know but i do so if the worst thing i could do was forget to blend stick blend my my milks and clays before i got started then uh i'm doing pretty good <laughs> and i do plan to make two soaps today um I honestly have no idea what the next one's going to look like because I didn't have that one planned out. This one I already did have planned out and I'm like super excited about it. Okay, let me get that over in the corner. Yeah, I was super excited about it, especially since I knew that it was a fast mover. I guess the way to jump back into soaping is with a challenge <laughs> to see if you can pull off what you had planned to make. And I think I did. So <laughs> I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, so let me get this over in the corner. And yeah, I am, <laughs> the, for those of you who are just joining my channel, I am called Kenny the Messy Soaper, and you see why, because all of this mess. <laughs> That's just how I roll. <laughs> so, once I promise, once I get everything the way I want it, it will be beautiful. Then I will clean it all up and make it pretty. All right, I think that's good. me in this mess see look at that it's going back to pretty already all right so i'm gonna give this a bang down and i'll be back i need a spoon which of course you guys know i never have everything that i need around me all right so oh and two <laughs> i plan to get um a lawn service to come and do my lawn for those of you who already know I have this stupid huge lawn <laughs> and cutting our grass takes like four hours front and back a total of four hours and I just don't have time to do that anymore so I did say that I was going to get um, lawn service out here to come and cut my grass for me because you know teenagers they have like these really busy lives and they don't have time to be cutting grass <laughs> So, I most definitely, I, I wouldn't expect to call Hunter home and ask her to come and cut the grass, you know. If she's away, I don't think that's cool. And I mean, she does help. She does help most definitely. So, um, what am I doing? Let's see. I kind of had an idea. I might need to use a spoon. Yeah. Okay. Let me run off and get a spoon. Okay. And I'll be right back. So, I've got my spoon. And I kind of wanted to bring it over in like a, a slant. And I should have just put it in here in that manner. So let me mush some of this over here to one side because I don't know why I want it to. Well, yeah, I do know why. Okay, so let me mush that over. And then I will just decide on what uh, texture I'm going to use. All right, okay, got that in there. So, uh, if I can remember how in the heck, how did I do that? Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> Maybe, I, yeah, I move smaller spaces. That's what I did. Okay. I kind of want to give like a wave, you know, like it's waves on this soap. That's why I'm doing this to one side. And like I said, you know, for a thicker texture or an idea that you had for more texture, this fragrances that move faster are most definitely idea for that because you would have to sit and wait until it thickened up for you to be able to do this. And I knew that this texture that I got once <laughs> I probably wasn't gonna be able to pull that off again and as you can see it's not working <laughs> but that's okay because I'm gonna have some embeds that are gonna go on the top anyway so does not matter all right so put that back in there but yeah actually it is kind of like I had in mind um let me get a napkin clean off my finger and I need what do I need what do I need? I need to speed up. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let me get. Oh, I need a popsicle stick. That's what I need. 
and I need to speed up. But, like I said, hey, I'm at the end, and if this soap came to this texture because of the fragrance oil, and that's it, and it didn't thick up, thicken up any more than that, then I'm excited. I like it, and I will be using this again. I know, you guys are probably like, what in the hell are you doing? <laughs> but I promise you, it's going to turn out cool. Yeah, yes, yes it is. All right. So now, let's see, I don't want it that big, well that tall, because peaks, when you make peaks for me, when you make them that tall, they tend to break off. <laughs> Alright, so I got my stick, and I want to make some little swirlies here. Okay, so, yeah, that's good, because like I said, you make them any taller, they're going to break off. Alright, so now, I will clean all this up, because it looks kind of crazy. All this soap kind of just sloshed all around everywhere. But, oh yeah, what I was saying about the lawn service, I really need to get that, like, started. <laughs> Because I know my neighbors probably think that I have lost my mind. Why is this lady not cutting her darn grass? She's making her neighborhood look bad. <laughs> and it's not that bad, but it's not that good. <laughs> so, as soon as I get home on Monday, I will be calling a lawn service. Or maybe I'll see one working on somebody else's yard and snag them and talk them into coming down here. And, um working on this disaster and it's not like crazy long but because everyone else has cut their grass of course mine looks like it's super long <laughs> so yeah most definitely got to get on top of that all right um let me make sure i know i need to really remark um my lines for my embeds because i really can't even see and I thought this was a basket that I had previously marked. Yeah, it is. And I think I just rubbed some of it off. <laughs> okay, I think I can find where they are. Alright, so my embeds that I have are like super duper cute. I got some shorts and some... Let me take off these gloves because I... Ooh, my hands are sweating like crazy. I know I'm not going to be able to uh, hold them with these gloves on because they're kind of small. But I got some cool flip flops and some sunglasses and um, ooh, flip flops, sunglasses, kites, uh, little uh, buckets for sand, some little, what are these things called? Oh, little sand, uh, sand shovel. So super duper cute. I'm like excited about those. Alright, let me get my hands dried off a bit. And if I can pick it up without pouring them all over the table, I'll show you. So aren't those cute? So that's my embeds. And I think I'm going to put my shorts up here. Oh my goodness. Wish I could see these lines. Okay, I'll put a pair there. I don't know how many I made. I honestly don't. Oh boy, it is really hard to see these darn lines. Ooh, it's hard to see. I really should have remarked this, but it will. I did not. <laughs> so, I don't know why I want my shorts up top, just because I guess it looks like somebody's surfing up there. And that's the reason why I want it, um... I wanted, you know, this to be higher on one side than the other. Okay. Um, I don't even think I made enough shorts, but oh well. Because I do have, like, some little... What do I have? I have some kites. I don't want to put my kites up there. Yeah, I'm going to put one kite right there. 
and then I'll put a blue in here. Hopefully I don't have to cut any of these in half because that would really stink. Alright, so I got some suns. And I'm really not gonna sit here and try to make all these perfect, you know, each piece have ex exact same things on it. Because uh, that would just take up too much time. So I got some suntan lotion bottles here. My only thing is just I hope that I have them spaced out enough where um where I won't be cutting it in half. So um I'll probably end up speeding this up just because <clears throat> I don't want to bore you guys to death. I think that is probably enough. I don't want to overload this with too much craziness going on here. So, um, I'll probably give that a spray with some alcohol just because I think I should. <laughs> and I am going to use um, her glitters, which are beautiful. So, I actually have some blue and some. Um, Teal, which I will give you guys the names in a minute as soon as I am done tucking in my um, my embeds. All right, so I off my hands there. I'm going to use some heavenly blue. I'm going to do that now. We'll first turn off this fan before it end up all over. Oops, butterfingers today. I think this is like super duper stinking cute. Alright. Um, alright. Again. Ooh! <laughs> I wasn't really ready to throw that in there yet, but um, okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. uh. Uh, I have like shaky hands today, probably because I haven't had anything to eat yet. <laughs> All right, so my next one will be some Tropical Lagoon, which is that beauty right there. Yeah, you guys most definitely got to go and check out her glitters because they are so pretty. Okay, hopefully, you know, I don't have like the jitters and I can get this on here without pouring huge amounts in certain sections like I'm doing right now. <laughs> but you guys know I love, love, love some glitter, so I'm okay with that. You know, I could just dive head first into a vat of glitter and be just fine with that. Come out super duper sparkly. Would not mind, none the least. All right, and then for the last one, it's going to be diamond dust. As soon as I clean off my spoon. Oh, I got some oh, fragrance oil residue or drizzles on my bag. Okay, so yeah, go ahead and give a nice healthy dose of that. Just add some color to that, you know, cream top. Most definitely want to have some color up there. Alright, so let me clean off this diff. And then I will show you up close what it looks like. before I get myself in some trouble because I don't have any gloves and I do not need to be touching any of this soap with no gloves on. Alright, so 
give it one more splash of alcohol. Oh, that glitter is just so stinking pretty. All right, guys, so this is Beach Vacation. Let me move you over. That way I'm not bumping into my light. Isn't that cute? Oh, I just love that. So cute. And I can't wait to cut it just to see what it turns out like. All right, guys, so that is it uh, for this soap. And I will be back later on today with another video which won't be posted today. So, um, see you in a minute.